When we rebranded to Cushman and Wakefield eight months ago, one of the objectives we set ourselves was to be at the forefront of research and insights for our clients. This morning is about sharing some of these insights with our clients. This Future of Work briefing is the first in a series of events we will be running, where we will be bringing national and international speakers to provide their insight on what is influencing property decisions across the globe. I think briefings like this are very important. I think you, they give you a very good insight into international trends and what's happening globally and the use of technology in the future. So really interesting and really informative. What stood out for me most was OVG showing how the age building and using technology can create a building that's constantly changing and suitable for the, the occupiers in those buildings. I thought this morning's event was really terrific. It was a great mix of people. The speakers were fantastic. It was great to have a corporate real estate person and the developer side and then a you know, futurist on the, on the corporate occupier side. Really good mix and a lot of provocative, fantastic ideas and a lot of food for thought. Really, really good. I thought this morning was very interesting and very informative. We're talking about the future and it's really important, I think, when we're designing, planning buildings and looking at the way people are going to be working in the future, that we actually plan for the future and not for today. The Cushman and Wakefield brand is becoming more and more recognised and over time I'm sure that that will really penetrate into the market even further. Cushman and Wakefield are a recognised brand, they're a new brand, but I think they're becoming more and more well known and particularly with events like this.